dearly beloved, <laughs> friends, patriots, Romans, lend me your ears! Because a terrible tragedy happened on January 20th, 2017. Our presidency died. We gather today to mourn the passing of that presidency and to remember, yes, to celebrate the many years that our presidency lived. From 1789 to 2017, a full 228 years. It has breathed through 44 incarnations, but no more. Now, I first met the presidency, as many of you did, as a child in school. It was a man in a wig. It was George Washington, this very arch we stand beneath right now. Yes. Now, George stood bold through those pages of my history book. This person, in a wig, fought a war for patriotism and independence. He spoke beautiful and truthful quotes like this. If the freedom of speech is taken away, then dumb and silent we may be led like sheep to the slaughter. Ooh, that's just disgusting. Others, also in wigs, like John Adams, Thomas Jefferson, these men and many other like them, they set forth the standards that our government lives by even today, or rather should be living by today. Now the presidency has always struggled, just as all humans do, with lies, with greed, with inhumane acts against other races, and war so much, war. Yes, and even infidelity. <laughs> but, I don't, oh, okay, wait, threw the two video away. Too much litter, too much litter, darling. So basically, politics. Now that's a man's fight, that's a man's struggle. Then most recently, we saw a bright, shining hope that the presidency would be reborn in the form of what this planet needs most right now. More than ever, a woman, a mother, a female phoenix rising from the flames, and it will happen one day soon. But alas, on that fateful day of November 9th, the presidency began a slow march of death towards redundancy and idiocy of old male white supremacy that is yet again filled with such greed and blatant disregard for decency that we must now recognize that it has D.I.E. died. So, today, we shall mourn the presidency. Yes, we shall. We shall celebrate it also in the grand style of a New Orleans-style jazz march, baby. And in that white-hot fire of jazz, baby, we will be reborn. Never again shall we let the presidency stray into danger and die. As an American, I shall always remember the presidency for the values, for the hope, for the leadership and the integrity that we as human beings demand. <laughs> Rest in peace, Presidency. We will see you reborn. Yeah.